Hi, I'm Jennifer Vadza for Belladonna's Botanicals and today I'm going to show you how to use our ritual oils and powders to um, dress a candle to use in rituals or for your spell work. I'm gonna kind of demonstrate a little bit of some of the methods I use in my personal spell work and rituals. So I hope you enjoy, thank you. So I'm gonna show you how to dress a candle. Um, a couple things that I do in my spell work. This is just a plain white candle. Um, I'm gonna do some stuff for uh, money magic. So the first thing I usually do when I use a candle, and you can do this with any kind of candle, um, is if you get, these are little like, I think they're, they're candle carving um, tools or wood carving. Um, they have a, a wooden handle and uh, a metal tip. So what I usually do with that is, I'm not going to do the full thing for this, but I would, you know, carve my name in the candle with, with the tool. So I'm just going to put my first name. And these work really well for doing that. Um, you can also carve uh, sigils. You can carve um, pretty much anything. Like I usually do like my name and my birth date. You can, you know, inscribe, you know, intention. You can use symbols. Like I would put, you know, a dollar sign for this being money magic. I could put um, the sigil of any of the spirits that I work with for money magic and like I work with uh, mammon a lot um, you can use like Bune or Clownek, um, Suntalak, um, whoever you work with for that so I mean, you can do all that um, and you can do this as simple or as elaborate as you want um, the thing with the uh, candle the carving tools is they come with different widths so if you have a you know if you're doing like a like a chime candle or a taper candle, some of them are narrower. If you're doing like a wide candle, they have wider ones. So that's um, the first step I usually do. Um, you can cleanse the candle prior, um, like you can smoke cleanse it, something like that, or, or if you do Reiki, you can Reiki cleanse it. I'm just gonna stick that in there for now. Um, so I'm gonna show you a couple methods and a couple tools that I use for doing this type of candle magic. So. Um, the first thing I usually do after I've carved the candle, because what can ha happen is this is pretty wobbly, um, unless you have like a fitted candle holder. I use, um, it's called Stick'em. You can get it on Amazon. Um, your grandmother probably had this stuff. And I usually coat the bottom of the candle in it. It's kind of like a sticky, kind of waxy. So now my candle sticks to the, the surface I'm putting it on. So I don't have to worry about it, you know, toppling over as much. So it's, it's, a, it's much more stable. So the next thing I, I want to show you as far as tools that I use for with ritual oils specifically, um, a paintbrush is always good. You can get the little, I mean, you, you could get them on Amazon or get like the little, you know, Crayola ones at, you know, CVS or something like that. Um, I also use a lot of these little pipettes. Or you can use a glass dropper if you have them. Those are good for getting drops of the oil out and anointing them. And if you want to get fancy, you can use a syringe. And I also, I'm not going to demonstrate today, but I also use like hypodermic needles, which you can insert into the candle and put the oil directly into the candle that way. So those are some of the tools that I use with my, with my candle magic. So for this particular candle, um, what I want to do first is I'm just looking at my money oils. I'm gonna take my money drawing oil and since that's the primary goal so I'm gonna get the uh, the uh, oil on the candle that are on the paintbrush this one's a little wider I have a wide array and you could just paint you know the candle and anoint it in that oil I think we want to go usually I go up upward strokes 
there are different methods that will say, you know, use upper strokes for this type of, um, especially if you're doing like reversible, reversible candles or reversing candles, you might want to do a downward stroke for one and an upward stroke for another. So I've got the outside of the candle pretty well coated in the money drawing oil using the paintbrush. So the next thing I want to do, I have a couple other oils that we can use as well. Let's take the fast luck oil. And I usually use um, the pipettes. Um, the way, uh, if you've bought any of our ritual oils, they have a little Euro dropper uh, stopper cabinet, which is more or less just helps prevent it from leaking during shipping. I usually pop them off right away. So you can take a couple drops with the pipette or a dropper and, you know, anoint the candle that way. So I'm just anointing it at the top so it runs down over the, the, um, money drawing uh, oil and since I work with Mammon a lot on my uh, money drawing or prosperity and wealth magic I'm going to anoint it in Mammon oil as well. So Now the next thing um, just because I, I happen to have a couple powders with me um, I have my Blockbuster powder um, and a little bit of the road opener powder. So this is to remove any obstacles that would be, you know, impeding your wealth, uh, you know, impeding making money magic. And I usually just sprinkle or kind of, since I put some of the oil on the candle, you don't want to get too much close to the wick because it's, it, you know, you can kind of amplify the flame depending on the ingredients and the powder. But I usually just kind of you know, toss some of that on there. And then I'll put, I'll sprinkle a little bit extra around the base of the candle because as the, as the wax melts, it's going to start melting into that ritual powder that you put there as well. So you've got these magically charged oils and powders that will help amplify, you know, your ritual working and what you're doing. So let's see on there. All right. And oh, I have a little bit of extra fast luck powder that I saved for myself. Had a little leftover from a batch. So, you know, just put some fast luck on there. And this I bought elsewhere. This is just some gold leaf um, because I work with Mammon a lot. I tend to try to incorporate some gold into it. Um, gold leaf is very flaky and sticky, so, um, you can kind of press a little bit onto the candle. Um, I think you could get this on, you know, craft stores have gold leaf, um, you could get it on Amazon or Etsy, so I want to put a little bit of gold leaf on here, sort of as an offering to Mammon, and it doesn't... It's fine to burn. I, I've used it on candles before. So that is just a little bit on how I will ritually prepare a candle for my own use using any of our ritual oils or and, <clears throat> and powders. So in conclusion with the video, we now have our lovely dressed candle um, with uh, Belladonna's Botanicals ritual oils and uh, powders as well as some gold flake on there. So all we have to do from here, um, after you've got your candle, if you want to do anything according to your tradition and your practices, whether it's you're invoking a, a spirit, saying a prayer, um, any kind of particular ritual work. So we're going to attempt to light the candle. And voila! That is all you need to do. I mean, most commonly ritual oils are used for, sorry, I probably might have a little too much oil on there that it's not, it's, it's lit. It's just kind of burning through some of the oil stuff right now, but most commonly ritual oils are used in candle magic um, and, and things of that nature. So I just want to show a little demo of, cause I do get a lot of questions from customers um, once they buy ritual oils, how to use them. And this is probably the most common way that you want to use um, a ritual oil for candle magic. Um, there are other ways. I do have a separate video on 
sort of general purpose on ritual oils and, and how to use them. So anyways, thank you for watching. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. Love y'all.